channel, Jamie Fran Colors. I'm Jamie, and today we're gonna do our, what is this? This is number 12. This is our number 12 of the two page spread in the Hannah Carlson Soulmate book. It's very exciting. Today we're going to do, oh, it's the candy one. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. So the, lots of candy. I'm excited about this one. I think it's fun. I like the background that we did because it's just kind of fun. And we're going to use the background to kind of um, help us pick our colors for this drawing. So I really like like the bubblegum pink and this light blue. So that's what we're going to base this picture on. So I'm going to grab my Artisan markers and I've pulled, let's see, Acid Blue. I'm going to kind of go with the blue in the background there. And then Bubblegum Pink acid yellow and then this dolphin gray so that's kind of what I'm thinking for this picture so I'm going to base coat with these colors one thing that I really want to do is I want to give her pink hair and so I'm actually going to use the bubblegum color in her hair so I'm just going to base coat it and then we'll go back in with pencil and give it some definition but I just think this will be so fun for this picture Okay, so I'll do her hair in that color. I also think I'll do these bigger candies in the color just to bring that over here as well. Okay, so the bigger ones. Okay, so I'll have to do that and then Another major color is this acid blue, and I really think I like all of the ribbons, like the ribbon on this squirrel over here being this color. And then the ribbon on the jar being this color as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a lot of the candy wrappers as blue as well, and then maybe do something else in the um, like the little embellishment that they have. So do blue and then do the stripes. Something else. But so we get that color over here as well. And you could do like every other or you could do every one. Maybe I'll do every other and do the spotted ones a different color. I don't know. And we might have to pick that color later when we have more of it colored so we can see what's gonna work. Okay, and then I would do that down here too. Maybe do um, the elongated ones. Blue, and then do the other ones. A different color. That just helps get that blue over there as well. And then another color we have is the Dolphin Gray. And this, I'm going to do our little squirrels this color. So just, he's gonna be messy, but base coat him in the Dolphin Gray, and then we'll fix him up with some pencils. And there's two squirrelies on here, so we'll get some on both pages. Just a nice neutral light gray color. OK, 
Okay, so I just color him as well. Alright, so do both of those squirrels, that one and this one over here, because he'll need it too. Okay, and then the other color we had pulled was the acid yellow, which is going to be great for these stars over here. And also the little round candies on this side, I think, will be great. So let's get all of that. I know there's more on this page, but if we get all of that done, then we can see what else we need and what colors will be suited to uh, help us out. So let me get all that done, and then we'll look at her. Yay! She's going to be awesome. Very excited. Okay, so I added the amethyst purple and I put on some of the candy and on the little note over here. And then I also added ginger for her eyebrows and just some wood on this side. There's really nothing to put over here, but I thought it would just help kind of bring her together. So now we need to find some pencils. I didn't do her necklace because I'm thinking of um, doing her face with gelatos and then I'd want to put it over the gelatos, not under it. So um, I left those blank and I'll color them in later at the end. All right, so let me grab some other supplies, put these away, and we'll continue. Here we go. I'm gonna maybe make a mistake <laughs> because I'm not a watercolorist, but I'm gonna use this Complexion by Prisma watercolor set. I use it in my art journal and I've been getting a little bit better with it. Not great, I'm not gonna lie. But for a base coat, I think it will be great on her skin. And then we can um, do pencils or gelatos or whatever we want. So let's get our brush wet. So this watercolor set is fun because it's like all skin tone colors. All right, <clears throat> maybe she should be this peach color. This is a creative mark, it's number 14 round. I think I got it at Sherry's Artorama a few years ago. I've had it for quite a while. It's been a good brush though.
Okay. Let that dry. And we might put another color on to give her some shading, but not till she's dry. All right, so what pencils do I want to use this time? We used whole beans last time. I think we're just going to go with Prismas because I need some good pinks. All right, let's go with magenta for the darkest color. Okay, and then let's grab Process Red. Want to color in the direction of the hair. I have a hair mini series. If you'd like more help with that, go check it out. This is just going to be pretty. I like it already. Okay, then let's go to hot pink. Okay, and then our last color is pink. That'll be so pretty all over her head. Oh, I love it. Love it. My paper's still a little wet, so do. <clears throat> all right, let's try some dioxine um, purple hue. Then let's go to Dahlia Purple.
And then Parma Violet. Let's take a little grayed lavender and see if we can't. Just brighten up the center a little bit. That's kind of nice. Maybe the edge there. really helped I think okay so there's some purple we can use all right let's try let's hope I don't mess it up because she looks so pretty okay let's try let's just go let's go chant it's a little bit darker but not a lot so that maybe All right, we'll let that dry and then we'll put, we'll finish shading her out and blending her with something else, maybe the gelatos. Okay, let that dry. 
All right, let me color though that and I will get back to you. We'll decide on the rest. So let's have that dry. All right, I have half of her hair done, the other half's not, so um, I still need to do that part. But I thought we did look at the blue. Um, I grabbed some China blue for shadows. And then electric blue. I think this color should be better than it is. It's just not as soft a pencil as. shading out anything that you want. I'm going to use these colors in her eyes as well, so the china blue. Okay, so those three colors I'm going to use for the blues. Then for all the little yellows, I grabbed some yellow ochre. And then some lemon yellow. those for all the little yellow bits and then there are just a few spots of brown so I just grabbed dark umber
And then this is light ember. And I'll just use that for all the little spots we made brown. Including her eyebrow. Alright, so that takes care of our brown. And so the only color we really have left is the gray on our little mouse friend. So I'm going to grab warm grays. I grabbed 90%, 50%, and 20%. So we'll start with our 90. Fifty percent. I'm not too worried about blending him out because it would be nice if he looked a little fuzzy and um, textured. So I'm not being too careful with him. own preference if you want to be make him all smooth and beautiful go for it Okay, and then my 20%.
Okay, that makes him look quite cute. I wanted to fix his eyes. Okay, so let's finish coloring this and then we'll come back to her skin. All right, here she is. She looks so cute. Let's use some gelatos on her face. My kids are home, so if you hear stuff in the background, it's them. All right, I'm going to start with a distress crown in vintage photo and try to put in a little more shadow. Okay, we might come back to that, but let's grab our peach gelato. All right, let's add just a little bit of metallic melon. Maybe a little more peach in there. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of coconut, which is white. Mm. 
Okay, then I'm gonna take, this is raw umber in a pit pen. Just, I could use a gel pen or a pencil, but I just wanna put in some color into her freckles. Right, let's take magenta into her lips. I'm going to take a Spectrum Noir Sparkle in blue to topaz for her necklace. Add a little sparkle to this. All right, here she is. I think she looks so cute. I love this wild pink hair. I just think it's amazing. I wish I could pull off wild pink hair. I don't have the coloring for it. Oh well, okay, so I think she's just so cute. Oh, I love it. And I like her necklace sparkles. Woo yes. All right, that's exciting. Okay, so that's it for this picture. Our next picture is a doozy and so, Oh, I don't know. It's giving me a little bit of anxiety, but I think it'll be a great. It's our mouse house. Where is she? Look at this. Look how busy it is. Oh, goodness. So it might be a long one, but it'll be fun. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And um, I hope you guys find time to relax and color, enjoy yourself, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.